Yo, what up people? Hope all is well. If you are new to this channel, my name is Devin Lars and on this channel, we're talking about mindset development, how to grow your life, how to grow your business and how to take things to the next level. So today's video is gonna be all about exposure, right? And what I mean by exposure is, I mean like putting yourself out there, right? I, I think a lot of times as we started to build our business, as we started to network, as we started to build relationships and connections, everything always stemmed from connections and talking with people. And it all started with exposure, like putting yourself out there to be seen. So I just got back from Complex Con, drove down to, to Long Beach. Uh, this was our first year attending. I think this is like the third year of doing Complex Con. And it was just super dope to be back on the scene. Now, back in the day when my business partners and I started, we used to go to Magic, which is a big trade show in Las Vegas. Um, it happens twice a year where basically all the big brands come together uh, and they showcase all of their uh, new collections. And so buyers from all across the country, actually all across the world, come to this convention and they look at the new product and they place orders. So when we were doing this like in 2011, 2012, it was like super, super popping, right? Like all the celebrities, everybody was there. Anybody that was somebody was there and it was like, like an industry-wide kind of event, right? Where everybody in the industry, every music artist, every celebrity, all that stuff was kind of there. That was like the thing to go to. Uh, and so it's interesting to see, you know, once we started doing that, we were on the scene and then, you know, we got into the business, we got into our, our manufacturing facility and I, and I kind of like, I got off the scene, right? I like stopped going out, I stopped going to events and I was like working and building my business. I was like in the lab, in the shop, you know, working 12 to 18 hours every single day trying to build this business getting clients getting stuff like that and so it kind of like it, it I, I took my attention off of being out right and building those relationships I was building the relationships and things in, in business standpoint and what we were doing working with the different corporations and the different companies but I was really off the scene and kind of like out of the loop of what was going on and so we restructured kind of like our business the last year um, we got rid of our manufacturing facility. We partnered with a larger shop to handle all of our uh, manufacturing to get everything done on point. So that way we're able to create this strategic partnership um, instead of being able to have this facility that, that you know, it was, it was good, right? We had this entire shop, we were doing all the production, but it was time consuming. It was very, very time consuming. And I knew my strength and a lot of my team's strength was more on the front end, marketing, sales, kind of things of that nature. So. We made the transition and we did that. And so now we're just kind of focused on being more on the scene, focused on the front end side of the, the front end side of things as far as sales, marketing, just kind of like networking, building those relationships, because I think that is my strength. I was very unhappy with having the shop. Like it was just, it, 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 it was good, right? We were generating money, like things were going good, but I just wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. I felt like I could be doing so much more instead of being locked into this, this shop. And so, you know, I decided to make that transition and, and get into more of, like I said, the front end creative, doing more content like this, being able to work with um, different upcoming entrepreneurs, business owners and stuff like that, and be able to help them scale. And then just focus on creating this kind of like the, the, this media, right? We live in a time where social media is, is super important and the power of being able to communicate. Like I'm sitting here talking to you and you're watching this wherever you are, whether you're on your phone, whether on your computer, wherever you are in the entire world. And this has access 24 hours, seven days a week and so I just understood the power of it and I wanted to be able to share my experience to help the future generation of kind of building um, their businesses and building their kind of like foundations and creative ideas and how to do that so with being able to do that I kind of like this complex con was the first event of like getting back on the scene right getting back into the groove of things kind of being out and doing events and so it was just it was a super dope experience and and what I what I learned from from complex con is that you know, it, it's it's literally where the culture is right now. Like Complex Con, that event was literally where the culture is headed and what is going on. All the new artists, all the influencers, it allowed brands to be able to communicate and touch with the, the their audience and with their influencers and stuff like that. So magic was more of like uh, uh industry type of thing where you had to be an in industry you had to either own a business or have some sort of uh, affiliation with the business or a store in order to get to the actual uh event and be able to get in but complex con is more on the consumer side of things right anybody could attend the actual show you just have to buy a ticket so just to see the different landscape of like how things have changed over the years as far as like um 
how brands are working with influencers and stuff like that, right? How brands are able to connect to people, how partnerships are very important about just being on the scene and just actually meeting people and just like they're actually able to, to communicate and actually able to network together. And so the thing is all about exposure, right? It's being at the right place at the right time. It's being able to communicate with people, being able to just have conversations and start those conversations to pick up that, you know, that partnership or to pick up these this account or whatever the case may be. So when I say exposure, it's all about just being out, right? You have to be out. You have to go on the scene. The reason why we, we were able to build what we did, especially in the beginning, is because we were at every single event. We were passing out flyers. We were making sure our face was being seen. We were making sure we were shaking hands, building relationships and providing value, right? Adding as much value to people as we can. So in the previous video that I just dropped, it's all about going that extra mile and adding value up front. <clears throat> and I want you guys to start thinking about when you guys are building your, your thing, right? Your projects, your creative projects, your business, your brand, whatever, whatever it is make sure to find something that you can add value first right and so when you're able to build these relationships you're able to people can see your face and people know okay this is who this person is this is per what this person does sometimes it just takes that in order to to spark something in somebody's brain because i know you've been busy before and you're like i've been meaning to or i have this issue i have this problem and if somebody that you see that you know have this service that you may have forgotten about you could just be like oh hey i know that you um i know that you do this service that reminds me i need help with this project or something like that so the thing is it's just about being on the scene it's just about being able to be able to like i said be seen right and, and shake the hands and just that it's that marketing right it's the in-person marketing and marketing yourself building those relationships talking to people networking and being able to provide value so um, a lot of a lot has come out of uh, uh, last weekend and and the you know the the complex con and it was just it was super dope to just kind of just be out there see what the culture is like see where everything is headed see how you know listen to the conversation so they had different panels where they had different people in different industries come together and talk about the future of culture the future of technology the future of brand building um, about structuring a business it was just it was a really really cool event. Um, and I, I just, I really suggest if it's somebody that if, if you want to be involved in this, this project, as far as building brands, as far as building, um, any type of like creative project or just seeing where the culture is, I suggest that you guys go to these events, um, especially complex con. It was amazing. I'm definitely going every single year. Um, I think it's just going to be, I think it's going to be super dope of just like to watch it kind of build out and how all these brands connect with their audience and stuff now. And so it just gives you a way to kind of think and to be able to, 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 to build out these different projects and see kind of where the culture is headed. So, um, so yeah, it's all about having that exposure, right? Being exposed to the people, literally 70% of the, the, the reason of success, the, the reason of opportunities is just showing up, right? It's just showing up. It's just being there. It's being on the scene and it's people able to actually touch you and see you and have a conversation with you and know that you're a real person. Um, so it was cool. I, I actually, uh, when I was down there, I ran into a couple of my students that are taking the build your brand course. Um, and they like stopped me like Devin, what up? Like, and we had just some conversations about like what they're doing and how they're building their brand. And just like, it's dope to be able to put out content and do all this stuff. Cause sometimes, you know, we'll do things online and we see the comments, we see the likes, but we don't really realize those comments and likes are real people. And so physical events and spaces allow you to connect and see oh wow this is like an actual real person that you're talking to um and, it, and it's just cool to get that energy from um from being in person with somebody right and so that's why i'm saying like you guys need to be out utilize social media to be able to communicate and to build that platform and connect um offline or, or online and then you have those other events that connect with online um i don't know why i keep messing that up you have the content to create and connect with people online Online, and then you have the events to connect with people offline, right? It's a it's a mixture of both. You have the online and the offline, and you mix those together, and you get a special kind of like a, a special energy and a special like culture, a special chemistry, a special like a dope thing that you can push because it allows people to to see, oh, this is actually a real company or a real person. Um, so I encourage you guys to find whatever events that you want to um, partake in and, 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 and companies and cultures and stuff like that that you want to be a part of and go out there, like put yourself out there, introduce yourself, network, see how you can provide people value because that's the quickest way to get your name recognized and for you to build out the those those different relationships so i hope that helps remember exposure is everything get out be seen be able to touch these brands these products these 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 different um 
just a different industry, right? You want to go and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about like clothing lines, right? If you want to build a brand, that's cool. Like complex kind of is a good event for you, but whatever type of business or whatever it is that you want to build, make sure that you're going to places where people like-minded people are going to be in those places to be able to network and just see how things go, right? Just get an idea and a sense of what it is. Cause we will have a booth set up at complex con, right? But we couldn't do it the first year. We couldn't do it this year because we needed to see how everything works, right? We needed to see, okay, what is, what is the venue like? What is the, um, what are the places like? What is the actual um, structures of how the booths are set up? So you go do your homework, figure out what it is, and then you're able to plan strategically on how you need to do it next and how you need to build it out. So get to the places, get out, be seen, connect online with your audience, and then also connect offline. And that is how you build a business. So Hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. Um, if you like this video or you have any type of uh, uh, kind of experience, like sharing your experience about you going to an event and maybe meeting somebody and how that worked as far as just pushing yourself to go to the physical event, drop that comment below. And I am uh, super excited to be able to kind of put this content out on a regular basis. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of putting different pieces of content, right? I do a lot of consultations with companies and helping them take their business to the next level. So what I'm gonna start doing is recording these long extended conversations to be able to help you guys. So people in different industries on how they can utilize marketing strategies to grow their business um, and what they need to do to implement to kind of like scale. So these are gonna be like long form videos. So like 27 to, you know, 27 minutes to an hour long, but it's gonna be packed with a lot of information and in real time so you can see how um, an idea is formulated and how it's built. So hope these videos help. So the question of the week, this week is, which one do you prefer, turkey or ham? Thanksgiving is coming up and I'm ready to eat. Drop a comment below and I will see you next week. Peace.